My name is Juraj Podorsky. I am Director General of uh, International Organizations and Human Rights Directorate at the Ministry of Foreign and European Affairs of the Slovak Republic. I would like to begin by, the thanking, by thanking the Czech Ministry of Foreign Affairs for hosting this ministerial conference. Also, special thanks to Ambassador Zehak for, for his long-term and sincere dedication to the promotion of religious belief and combating anti-Semitism wherever it occurs. And best of luck and our full support for him as the next chair of the Alliance. Slovakia will continue to focus on the promotion and protection of the freedom of religion and belief bilaterally and in multilateral forums. Slovakia is an active founding member of International Religious Freedom or Belief Alliance, which has been vocal in advancing the freedom of religion or belief around the world. At the same time, the Alliance didn't shy away from pointing, pointing out to gaps, to gaps in ensuring that religious freedom is guaranteed and respected. The voice of Alliance has been playing an important role in addressing individual cases, and I want to thank for that. Yet, our mission is far from being completed. With increased human rights violations and polarization in many parts of the world, the Alliance's engagement continues to be essential. I stress that no one can be persecuted or discriminated because of faith or belief. In situations like this, we need Alliance to respond quickly. Slovakia will support such an approach. During the next three days, our discussions will be framed around freedom of religion or belief under authoritarian regimes. Let's be clear on this. Totalitarian and authoritarian regimes restrict by default human rights, including religious freedom through legislation and in practice. In situations like this, religious minorities are usually the first target of intimidations, repressions, and violence by state authorities or non-state actors, simply because they are not part of the majority population labeled as a threat. This is unacceptable. Where religious freedom is protected, other fundamental freedoms like freedom of expression, association, and peaceful assembly flourish. I want to assure you that Slovakia is committed to continue working as a reliable member of the Alliance. Thank you.